That game was awful. This is me right after the game. I had to calm down a little bit. I have a stream that I did. So you get to see my live reaction to all the foolishness that happens. So the Houston Texans, they lose to the New York Jets. My throat's some, my voice is gone because I've been yelling. Uh, 21 to 13. And that game was one of the worst games I've seen in a long time. That lived up to it being on Halloween. It was genuinely a very scary game to watch. Um, we had some injuries, but it wasn't nothing too crazy, too serious. Here, here's a couple of things. I'm trying to, I'm gonna try to keep my temper low. <laughs> I'm gonna try to keep my temper low because you know people sleeping, and I don't want to get loud. The Texans are not going to win a Super Bowl. They're not going to win the AFC. They're not going to the AFC Championship. They're not. Like I, I don't, I don't play the game of oh my gosh, we're winning games, so we're going to win a lot. We're not winning anything of significance. We're not. It's just not gonna happen. So these homers or these guys who think, oh, yeah, I'm just going to have faith in my team. for I'm not going to do that because that's wrong. It's false. It's incorrect. We played we, like the Jets made all these mistakes and we can take advantage. In the beginning, our old line, Canyon Green getting beat like a drum. And they would just we're going to this is how I know the coaching staff has incompetencies because we're going to bring Canyon Green out there. When Canyon Green is consistently not been playing good since week one, we're going to bring him out there because why? Because he's a first round pick. You know, we play CJ Stroud. This turf is terrible. Like, why are we doing this? Why are you trying to get your quarterback killed? I know you're not trying to, but it's just like logic. And it, it, like, you know, your guy isn't doing well. So bench him and get someone else. It's fine. He make millions of dollars. He has to understand if he's not performing, then you have to get replaced. That's literally how life has gone. That's how life goes. You make too much money and you're drafted too high for you not to perform. Bobby Slowick, he hasn't, he wasn't cooking. He didn't cook. The offense cooked up 10 points. And you can say, well, the receivers, you know, a lot of injuries. I get it. But he still wasn't cooking. We were in the goal line. He running trick plays with CJ Stroud. I'm like, bro, what is you doing? The second and seven, we need to, like, every play needs to have a positive impact. You're trying to get him off balance. I don't think that makes sense to do in the fourth quarter there. In the fourth quarter with under like, I don't know if it was like under seven, eight minutes. Like, you don't want to do that there. You want to make sure you get this touchdown. We are in the goal. We're in the red zone and no touchdown. No touchdown. We fumbled the ball. Like, it's so many incompetencies and so much like, and I'll give CJ some blame too. I'm not too, I'm not a homer. I'll give CJ some blame, right? You're not playing like he did last year. A little sophomore slump. I get it. I get it. But a lot of it has to do with that O-line. The O line is too inconsistent. Laramie Tunsil had his, you know, great false starts that he always. He only had one, but he, you know, still false star sucks. And I mean, hey, the Jets they made some great plays. Gary Wilson made some great, great plays. Like his two touchdowns were spectacular. Shout out to them. Didn't help my fancy team because Brees Hall wasn't getting them. Um, Cammy Fairbairn, what's going on? What's going on? Are you hurt? What's happening? I have this jersey. This jersey signed by you. What's happening? Like, are you hurt? Like, he missed a 20-some yard field goal. We literally made a field goal that was further. And then we get closer, and he misses it. That's stupid. That game was over. When that happened, the game was over immediately. There was no shot. Because now 10 to 14 turns 10 to 21. Now you're done. 13 to 21, you can still score. It's possible. You can still score. The game's still in one possession. You missed that field goal, the game's over now. What, what's, what's going on? He missed a 56-yarder? Okay, I, I, I'll, I'll forgive that. Uh... 20 some yarder okay we we got a problem this team keeps shooting itself in the foot they're not going to do anything you can't like when people like bro they this and that you look at this team play they're not good enough to beat teams like the lions the ravens the chiefs the elites of the nfl you have to be good you have to play disciplined you have to play 60 minutes it's fine if you have some stinkers it's cool but every game has been a stinker you just barely escape with your lives i would say the texans are more lucky than good that's what I'd say. They're more lucky than good. Look at the wins we have. They're all by three or two points. And a lot of some of the games, we have big leads and we're choking them away. A lot of them are like that, honestly. The Bills, uh, the Colts, the first one. I mean, you know, we faced Chicago in week two. We won 19 to 13. I'm like, why are we not scoring more points than 19 points at home on Sunday Night Football? Why are we not scoring? We have Tank Dell, Nico Collins, and Stephon Diggs, and we have 19 points. Oh, the Bears have a great defense. Play the Vikings, get destroyed. Oh, well, the Vikings are a really good team. Y'all find excuses for, for mediocrity. And I've already seen, the problem is I've already seen mediocrity many times. I've seen the Texans have mediocre seasons. And I've had seen the Texans win 11 games, win 10 games, and then lose in the postseason. Get the ESPN game on Saturday and then lose. Y'all are too happy with mediocrity. Y'all are too happy with your team winning 10, 11 games. You want to be like Dallas, win 12 games and lose. What does that do? What are we doing? 
Every team in our division has been the AFC Championship in the last 10 years. We're the only team that hasn't. And you know why we're the only team that hasn't? Because we're mediocre. Y'all accept that. Y'all said, well, winning the division. Oh, my gosh. The Colts lost. We're going to win the division. Okay, cool. What does that do for me? Does winning the division give you a ring? Do you get a ring for that? Super Bowl championship? No, you don't. You just win the division. We've done that seven, eight times, maybe nine. We've done that almost 10 times. So what does that matter to me? We've been to the division round multiple times. So what does that matter to me? I'm trying to win a Super Bowl. But this Texan team is not built to win a Super Bowl. They have too many flaws, too many holes, and things like things that be fixed. So for all the Texan fans, I want you to know this. This year, y'all not going to a Super Bowl. Maybe next year. But I'm not going to wait till January to be like, oh my gosh. Oh, maybe next year. I'm going to say it now. If they make a big trade, maybe this is a loss that has to happen for you to make a big trade. But a big trade needs to be made. The Ravens got better. The Chiefs got better. The Bills got better. You just lost to the Jets. You didn't get better. You get worse. You're getting injured. You're getting worse and worse. And it doesn't get easier. So you may need to make some trades. And you may need to go and be aggressive. Because CJ Stroud can only be on his rookie contract for so long. And if you don't take advantage of it, then you're just not going to win anything ever. And that's the truth. I'm not a homer. I was a homer in the past. I used to believe every single season we got in the Super Bowl. I believe every 10-11 win team, maybe something great can happen. And it didn't. You be lost in heartbreaking fashion. I'm not going to. I can already see it happening with this team. They don't have the heart. They don't have that dog. The defense, shout out to them. They played as well as they could have for as long as they could have. But the offense is too inept. It's too much of a problem. Your kicker is missing field goals he shouldn't be missing. You have too many holes on this offense and on this and now on this kicker. You have it's it's not working. So, Houston, you have two options here. You have two options, and I'm not cutting this. There's no cuts here. I'm just talking. I'm not cutting because this is pure emotion. I'm just talking here. You have two options. You either be aggressive and make some trades to get better, or you end the season. Your season's over, and you accept it, and you just play, and then we just lose. Y'all say, man, we're going to beat the Dallas. We're going to beat Detroit. We're going to beat the Dallas Cowboys. Are we going to beat the Dallas Cowboys? We're going to beat the Jets. Are we going to beat the Cowboys if we can't beat the Jets? I, I don't know. Do you think so? I would love to beat the Cowboys. I hate the Cowboys. I hate the Cowboys. I, nothing makes me happier than to see them fail. But can you do that? You don't look good enough. You barely beat the Jaguars in Houston. Why would I meet? Why would I think you're gonna beat the Cowboys? Why do you think we're gonna beat the Chiefs, the Ravens? We're not scared of those teams. I'm, I'm not scared of those teams because I know we're gonna lose. So why am I gonna worry about the Chiefs and Ravens? I don't know if we lose to the Cowboys. Maybe we beat the Cowboys. Maybe we lose to the Cowboys. I don't know anymore. Texans, you better fix this. Because I'm gonna watch the games. Like I'm a content creator. I'm, is I'm a Texan fan. I'm gonna watch the games. But you ain't gonna get no. You ain't get nothing out of me. You ain't about to make me. You ain't about to bamboozle me. Make me think you gonna get a Super Bowl. I got this face paint on for y'all. It was wearing off. I got this face paint on for y'all. And all y'all doing is failing me. If you're a Texan fan, comment down below what you think about this game. Um, it's gonna come out on Friday, but I released this. Or I made this immediately after the game because you had to get my purest emotion. I don't want no sleep after this. I want my purest. Get to my purest emotion. Um, but hey, for more content like this, make sure to like this video. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Face Detroit next week. That's going to be a butt whooping. But we'll see. Maybe they do something. Probably not. And with that, we'll catch you guys on the next video. I'm out of here. Peace.